Hey guys, so I've just done this look using the Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless palette by Ciate. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. This is the first time I used this palette and I really enjoyed it. Now I know that this was a limited edition palette. Uh, the shades in this palette are quite common shades, so you'll easily be able to find um, similar shades if you want to recreate this look for yourself. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I've already done my eyebrows just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Now today I'm going to be using the Ciate London Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette. Now the shades in this palette are just absolutely gorgeous. I haven't actually used this palette yet so I'm really excited to give it a go. Without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into it. <laughs> now I'm first going to start off from my eyes using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just on this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Just a small amount all over the lid. I'm then just going to set that primer in place using my tribe, just like a light yellowy tone. Pretty much the same colour as the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just so it makes all the other eyeshadows that we use later on, uh, makes it easier to blend. So next I'm just going to take the shade Skinny Dip on a Sigma E25 blending brush. Just going in windscreen wiper motions and all the way into the inner portion of the eye. I'm thinking I'm going to do a halo eye so I just want to make sure that it's evenly distributed. Next I'm just going to take the shade Jet Setter which is this light purpley shade and I'm just going to put that in the exact same place that we put Skinny Dip. I'm just going to start um, placing the product where I want the halo eye to be. Putting this on the outer corner of the eye and the inner corner. Just trying to avoid the middle section. Next I'm just going to go in with the shade Blur, which is a darker purple shade. And I'm just going to use this colour to define the crease more. So just in the same place as where we put that jet set of shade. I'm then just going to darken it a smidge more just using the colour Daydream which is again just a shade darker than the one that we were using before and I'm just going to mainly focus these on the outer corner and the inner corner. And just blending it out with the same brush that we used earlier, the Sigma E25 brush. Just going back in with the first shade that we used, um, Skinny Dip, just on a Sigma E35 tapered blending brush. So just putting that through the crease to blend everything together. So next I'm just going to go into the shade Vacay, which is a nice gold shimmery shade. And I'm just going to use a synthetic brush and just pat this on the centre of my lid. So next I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue, just a small amount, and just pat it on the lid. And then I'm going to use the BYS Gold Glitter, and I'm just going to place the glue where we just put that gold eyeshadow vacay. And then I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing on the other eye. I'm then just going to 
try to blend that together using the colour flirt. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Balm Schwing Eyeliner. Now I'm not going to do a wing, I'm just going to line um, the top of the lid. <laughs> I'm then just going to go in with some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm now just going to move on to the rest of my face and I'll come back to my eyes later. Now I've already moisturised my skin so I'm just going to go in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is in the shade White I'm just going to put this all over my face. And I'm just going to blend it out with the Damp Real Technique sponge. Next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. And this place is... Um, I think that's too dark. Okay, so I'm just going to place that there. That's pretty sad when the light shade is too dark for me. Alright, so I'm just going to also add NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade light to vanilla and just place this over here I'm then just going to set that in place with the Laura Mercier translucent powder the sponge I'm just going to go on with the same um, Maybelline concealer just on my chin, down the center of my forehead. What am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? So I'm just going to go into the Too Faced Cho Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronze. This is the side of the light. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna dust this on the perimeters of my face. So my forehead, my cheekbones, and down my jawline and neck. Okay, I'm then just gonna go into the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Just on this Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush. I'm then just going to go into my NARS Orgasm Blush. Just lightly dust it on my cheek. And then I'm going to go into the Balm Mary Luminizer Highlighter. Highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Above my brow. Deep its way into the nose. Just let me do In the inner corner of my eye. Okay, I'm just going to move back to the eyes and I'm just going to take Skinny Dip, which is the first colour we used in the cruise. 
Then just gonna go into flirt. And then just going to go back in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I just want to put this, place this on the middle of my lower lash line. Mimicking what we just did on the top eyelid. I'm just going to do a light coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. And then just going to go on with some black eyeliner. And I'm just going to put this in my tight line and waterline. And then just going to set my face using the MAC Fix Plus. I'm then going to go in with this Dila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. Okay, that's it for this finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked what you saw and want to see new videos every week, just give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!